we saw see, a lot of we stuff. We saw so much stuff. So Connor in the chat makes a good point that that dead sponge was actually probably a dead glass sponge, not a demo sponge. They're much more persistent in the environment. The glass sponges take longer to de decompose than the uh, demo sponges. Little shrimp. Trying to go cross slope here for a minute. It can uh, come up a bit. Roger that. <coughs> There's our first branching something. Pushing a bit there, Daryl. Or did I hallucinate? I swear I saw a branching coral in there. The phantom branching coral. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm losing it. It is the first of the month. It's that time of the month, I guess. What? When everyone's brains go, go to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> no, for, me, for, me, for me, it's approaching day 18. It's I have found. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's rent, rent is due. Got way out. I it's a sad day. <laughs> Bring your head to the left some more. Hopefully, hopefully everyone paid the rent. <laughs> this is your reminder. My problem is I generally get really sick of being a sea on day 18, plus or minus a day and a half. I just get sick of the boat. I just want off. I get cranky. You just won't see. Someday in the next three or four days, you just won't see me outside of the control room because I'll be just locked in my room being grumpy about being stuck on a boat. And then I get over it, and I'm fine for the rest of the cruise. But I have found that somewhere about that two and a half weeks, I just get really cranky about being trapped on a boat. But then I get over it and I'm fine for another, you know, 20 days or whatever. But <laughs> just be warned, day 18 is coming. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that you can admit that. Yeah, yeah it's day too. 18. Like, but, you know, good 19. communication is the key to a good watch. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I definitely feel like everybody was starting to feel the crabbiness today. Oh, yeah. I mean, then, I yeah. just didn't want to talk to anyone, honestly. Yep. I just wanted to like lay in my bunk and not yeah, do anything. Same. That's what I feel. I've just been figured out. Yeah. Not uh, over enough cruises now. Point. What day it generally hits for me. I watched the Elvis movie in my bunk today. How was it? Did you like it? Yeah, it was really good. I was I've really heard, surprised about how good it was. I've heard mixed reviews, honestly. I can understand why. I, I heard it's long. It is extremely long. It's like almost three hours long. Yeah. Very fast paced. Sure. Yeah, very fast paced. I like the Boz yeah, Lerman style. So. Austin Butler did an amazing job. He still talks like Elvis to this day. After watching the movie, I can understand why, because he nails Elvis so well. But it was really, really good. If we could, I would, like, put it up on the big screen in the social lounge tonight and watch it again. If I had three hours to kill, <laughs> I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're likely recovering on our watch in the morning, so after we recover, you know, we can put it up there. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I'm busy then. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it that you watch, Corley? Or do you not have any movies or TV shows downloaded? I watch stuff. Um, I just can't remember what for some reason. I downloaded 
like way too much stuff. I downloaded so much stuff. But the weird thing is that I downloaded a lot of stuff and I didn't realize, and I got things from like mm -hmm. um, Disney Plus, uh, Prime Video, uh, HBO Max, or I guess it's Max now, Netflix, Hulu. Like I got from every Every source, place. every outlet, yeah. But a lot of places, they expire after yes. a certain amount of time. Yes, so all of I didn't my realize stuff, that. I didn't realize that either. I thought once you started watching it, then it would expire. But a lot of my stuff is starting to expire or has already expired. Uh -huh. I'm kind of like, well, this, this is like upsetting because I thought I was going to have stuff to watch for a whole month and now I don't. So Netflix Ooh, and... Ooh, Black Coral. Ooh, hey. what the heck? Get me <laughs> picking up new things. I'm fully with you there. Is that bath of pathies? Yep. Okay. Got it. Yay. I'm getting Let's stuff. Let's there a bit for us. And a crazy looking sponge. And like this a, is yeah. so cool. Is this your elephant ear sponge from last night? I think it might be. I think that was tonight. I think that oh, was, was it? Oh, my gosh. I All the watches are starting hour. to blur together. They kind of are. I, it's day 18. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This looks even more like two Dumbo ears. All right, that's good. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so how do y'all fall asleep? Like, for me, I have to, like, watch a TV show, and I'm instantly out, like, two minutes. Do y'all just, like, turn everything off, put your head on the pillow, and you're out? Um, I kind of have to, like, I listen to podcasts oh. so I can close my eyes and get myself or, uh -huh. like, a, a very calming song. Um, and I have to do that for probably, like, at least 15 minutes, but sometimes longer. Gotcha. And then when I start to feel myself asleep, I'll just, like... Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always so jealous of people who hit the bed and, like, immediately pass out. I wish I could do that. I usually do that, but I always have to have like a TV show on that I watch for a grand total of like two minutes before I fall asleep. I feel like the blue light would make you more awake or something. Isn't that like a thing? No, you are 100% correct. Like I am a marvel to myself. <laughs> Just like how how am I ever able to bypass all the blue pull light? Off to the uh, east there. For a Yep, nope, going more east now perf is perfect. Thank you for coming over this way. That's helpful. Daryl, how do you fall asleep? I'm an insomniac. I don't ever sleep. I saw you the other day, and I was like, has he slept at all in the past 24 hours? Uh, yes, possibly. Nah, I'm joking. Usually here, I've been able to sleep better just because I'm working consistently. And so I'm able to fall asleep. But normally when I'm at home, it takes me a little bit, like a few hours to fall asleep. Kind of just, I try to stay away from blue light really apparently keeps me awake. So I got to be careful about that. Do you have the special blue light glasses? Nah. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, only if I'm working on computers for all day. I only use them during COVID. For whatever reason, I started getting eye headaches from looking oh. at the screen too long. I think a lot of people yeah. got headaches during that time. Do For you, various reasons. Yeah. Do you have a sensitivity to blue light? Like, do you think you're more sensitive than the average person? I think it's just light in general. If there's anybody, any bit of light, I, I can't go to sleep. So, like, if the sun's up and I can see it, it's going to be a problem. But if I'm, like, in the cabin here, it's completely pitch black, I can pass out. I think that's the main thing, is it's dark. Where is it? Where is it? Is there somewhere? Chris, what do you do to fall asleep? Um, usually I pass out as soon as I hit the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes a little bit of music. I'm very jealous of that. Yeah, one of the lucky ones. Yep. There's a mm -mm. I sleep good on airplanes, too. Oh, jeez. Just rub it in, why don't you? <laughs> yeah. This is a nice little rock with multiple sponges. Looks like it's got at least two or three different types of sponges on here. This, this big, tall caliphacus, and then this... What is the elephant ear-looking one called? I believe that's... Um, it's a euplectalid 
and I think it is um, give me a second I think it's a I can't remember the pronunciation um, these are so Atlanticella, pretty. I think is what the elephant ear one is All right, can we take a look at the l ones lower on the rock before we depart? Sure. And then it looks like we might have a couple anthemastus over here on the right uh, as well. So it looks like, yeah, a couple baby calophaguses down here and the Atlanticella. All right, that's great, and then Back up to the right, there were two um, pink blob bobs, bobbles. I want to just confirm they're anthemastus. I like it. It's like a little nursery. A big mama sponge, a whole bunch of little baby sponges. Aww. That corner, please. Right. Very cute. Nice little community. Yeah. And anthemastids are the coral c mushroom sponge. Mushroom coral. Mushroom coral. Uh, Phases in there for us, Daryl. Cute. Little chew toys. Yeah. <laughs> Three little baby so anthemastus. It is like a little nursery. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. A viewer online says he has a really good sound machine. I, I don't know. Maybe I should try music. Maybe that'll help. Or something different. There's some really good sleep podcasts that are like kind of meditative, and it's like kind of a boring voice that'll talk to you, put you to sleep. Have you heard of the <laughs> videos where you learn a language? They'll have a video playing the like calmly have like water in the sounds in the background and then they'll have a person start speaking a language and say this is what it is in English and then says it so you can learn in your sleep. I don't know about that. But I wonder if you actually oh. can learn. Because yeah, it's your subconscious mind I guess that would be learning it. There's your only word I got from psychology. There you go. Yeah, we are. Maybe I need to get back into podcasts. I haven't been on, I haven't listened to one in quite a while. Uh, I love podcasts. I do love them, but I just haven't, I think I've been too busy lately to have any other time. Yeah. I do enjoy them. When I get back, I'm planning on watching the Wan Show, W-A-N, Wan Show. It's the LTT's Linus Tech Tips uh, podcast. They're pretty cool to watch. Get Kind of get to learn the industry. Zoom on this one, please. Right there. But I wouldn't say it's a calming one. <laughs> Push in a bit there, Daryl. But you definitely learn a lot about tech. Zoom uh, just a little slower when you zoom in there because I'm still lining up the shots, so. Right, this is the same things. one that y'all found yesterday morning, correct? Or Good. two mornings ago? Yeah, I think so. It's the one we sampled on the on yesterday. The weird, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah, they were yeah, making yeah. the big tufts. Did it pull you going in? Did that sample actually uh, yep. come out? Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. I assume so. The, yeah, did the sample look good? Yeah. That? yeah. Mm -hmm. um, are you feeling any change in the current flow, Dan? Yeah. Is it getting, it's getting stronger? It, yeah, this was blowing there for a minute. I can't tell at the moment exactly what it's. Which, do you have a sense of which way it was coming from? Yeah, it seems like it's going like left to right there. Left to right? All right, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Brian, going back to that sponge, what are all, why does it have that base made out of what just looks like soft? Pulled cotton candy. Evolution? 
is what is it? Evolution? I don't oh, have a, I don't, oh. I don't really like, have a... Um, what is it made of? Going east, that's it's a type of spicules. <laughs> like it, it's Local sil up, up. silicate spicules, um, and that's the way it's attached. Why that particular taxa has so much of it or so much bigger, I couldn't tell you. Do we see that type of sponge all around the world? I know p yesterday you said that you saw it around Indonesia. And well, this I, saw was some, I, I saw the tufts kind uh -huh. of stuff in Indonesia. Um, they were browner at the time. But the um, but yes, the, the Paviopagons or whatever, they've now been reclassified. Um, you do see pretty much all across the Pacific. So the local uphill is almost due east at the moment. That that matches the uh, um, bathymetry. More or less matches the bathymetry. Yeah, uh, plus or minus right. 15 degrees. So if you want to if you want to wander due east for a bit, that's totally fine with me. We can. We're trying to make the summit though, right? Yeah, but the summit the, it'll flatten out, and we can if you want to go perpendicular to the contour lines now it'll flatten out at the top and then we can make the local summit a, a more e northeasterly move we can zigzag zigzag up wait basically any way we go uphill we'll get there right whatever makes your flying easier is fine with me I keep wanting to go east yeah well then go east <laughs> we're going to try east for a while yeah. I just wanted, I had asked um, Lynette to let us come over this way so we could cheat up the kind of northeastern face of this since we were cheating on the southeast or the northwest mm -hmm. side of this kind of ridge since we've been on the southeast on the other uh, local high. Well, we could slide along the contour for a while. No, 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 this is perfect. This is exactly where I want to be. Right. Um, and so we can just go uphill from here. I was hoping that, that if the current was coming out of the north, we might have a little more success cheated over this side. And you know, I can't tell you if, it's, if, it's, if that caused it or not, but we certainly are picking up a lot more sponges over here. This is the first sponge-dominated um, community we've seen. I mean, I guess yesterday was a little bit sponge-dominated too, but um, but the complete lack of chrysogorgids is real interesting, as we haven't seen any. And, yeah. uh, I let go of the controls. It uh, seems to be pushing the ROV to the south there. Okay. Strange cross. Like it's wrapping around or something, which is totally possible. I think that is an area of research of the local shifts in flow around these features and how they change where the corals and sponges live. I think is a an area that's very ripe for for additional work. We know generally that there's kind of a happy current speed for each taxa but understanding the local flow and how variable it is and how and the detail, mechanistic details of the current flow and how that affects the life on these features is something we really need to do a lot more research on. Our, our prediction models for where deep sea corals live are getting pretty good at telling us where we absolutely won't find them, but there's still a lot of room to go to telling us where we will find them. What kind of tech would you use to figure that out that's a great question um, and I don't have a good I don't have a, a one-size-fits-all answer for you uh, yeah. there's uh, the, the new tilt current meters um, I think have a lot of promise because they're comparatively very cheap um, as opposed to putting out full full ADCPs right. um, 
But, you know, there's still a couple grand a sensor, and you have to come back and pick them up. Um, I am really intrigued by some of the um, fiber optic cable sensing abilities where you can yeah. where you can lay a, a fiber down and then get really high resolution continuous temperature measurements along the entire length of the fiber. So, so that uh, that tech started out at OSU uh, with um, the I forget his name doing um, weather balloons at like the local vineyards and local farms. Really? I yeah. Didn't, I didn't know the history of it, but. One of the, uh, I also forget her name, she was over here at uh, UHMC and they were doing a, um, uh, some experiments there off of one of the nodes. And she actually said we could bring that and um, hook it up to our fiber in the, uh, the 6.8 and she would be able to tell uh, temperature along the, uh, all the way along the cable. Yeah, absolutely. I, I did some, Wild. when I worked for NOAA, we worked out a partnership with uh, Newark, the Naval Undersea Warfare Center in Newport, and brought out a six, it was a 322 cable um, hooked up with the um, laser system and towed it around the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, actually, remind me after a watch and I'll show you the data. It's, it's amazing. Um, the the ac level of accuracy of being able to do a one meter bend size on a 2,000 meter cable um, was just mind-blowing to see all the micro-scale temperature variations across the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so that's a technology that I could see laying like lightweight fiber up and down these seamounts and being able to detect internal waves breaking and stuff like that using temperature by just laying the single bare fiber up and down these um, features would be another really interesting way to approach kind of these mesoscale oceanographic processes that could help govern the distribution of life on these features. Yeah, I think so. It's definitely all the sonar returns are to the east. Should have, uh, maybe we'll pause it for shift change instead. Yeah, let's hold it for shift change. Then. Let it swing in. I didn't realize it was so late. I like Adam sitting in the, uh, the studio, like he's just hardcore manager watching from afar. <laughs> Making sure we do our job right. Yeah. <laughs> So the sponges we're both flying over here, a couple of different gen genera of uh, Euplectelid as we're moving here as we start watch change. I feel like we're just starting to get into like more stuff, more, more life, yes. even though it's mainly sponges. Certainly trending that way, yeah. It's all right. The next shift won't have a super cool jellyfish like we did that looks like a giant eyeball. <laughs> And a headless chicken. And a headless chicken monster. What was the third cool thing that we found? Oh, the the solitary hydroid. And the starfish. And a starfish. Slime star. Hello. So Dan, before you, can you not lose that sp um, coral? If you want to switch, just hang out in this yeah, area. Yeah, right there. I'm going to set it down here for a uh, watch change. I don't know if I can set it sideways on the hill. But maybe I'll, uh, 
So for all those following along, listening at home, we are just about to do our watch change. So four to eight is heading out. Eight to 12 is coming in. And we are slowly ascending up unnamed guillot number 12 uh, from the southwest flank. And I believe we are about 100 miles north-northwest of Palmyra Kingman. If you want to see a cool highlight, backtrack at about four hours, and you're going to see a really neat jellyfish. Highly recommend you check it out. Are you still there, Daryl? Let's zoom in on this guy. Yep, I'm still here. Ooh, too fast. Happy. My tilt doesn't work that fast. Speed you're looking for. Okay, I can go wide again. I did something stupid here. <laughs> Jeez, I'm all over the place. I know what I did. I neglected to put in auto heading. Okay, now you can zoom in. Okay, that's uh, front row signing off. drinking. It smells really fruity. Is it mint tea or something? Don't leave me. Oh, no. Or like pineapple juice? How do I? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I like press something. Oh, it'll uh, it'll time out. There we go. Um, I'm drinking hibiscus seltzer. Oh. LaCroix. Because every time you wow. would like drink it, I was like, what is that smell? It smells delightful. I don't know. I got this like special LaCroix pack from Costco before uh -huh. it came out. Liking it. Has like watermelon, hibiscus, and lemoncello flavors. Nice. Video change. Test, test. Oh, there I am. Oh, wow. Mike's here. Video is still He's here. Not on the deck. Oh, yeah. Deck Chief Mike is no longer Deck Chief Mike. Nope. Atlanta Pilot Mike. So, what have you been seeing? A lot of sponges. It's not been the most exciting dive. Lots of sponges. Yeah, oh, and you should be happy to know that apparently it actually isn't necessarily incorrect to call it a hydrozoan. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finally. <laughs> do, do, do. <coughs> I told Jules to take the night off, so. Oh, so I'll just work eight yeah, hours. Yeah, is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, as long as she takes my 4 a.m. shift. Oh, yeah, I would trade that. Coming up with any more songs for jam session? I have not, but... Uh -oh. I, I was trying to look up some, like, Spanish ballads I could play on the ukulele. Ooh. They seem kind of difficult, so I don't know. It might be a learning, learning, a learning thing. Well, yeah, we could get down with that.
Oh, I didn't notice there's a pitch. Uh, Dave's been on video. Are we done looking at whatever we're looking at here? Yep. Nini didn't get out of the chair, so I'm just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be clear. Palm tree in the camera there. There's a palm tree in the camera. Palm tree fronds. Roger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, good. what do you have before coming up here? It's <laughs> Oreos. Yeah. Oh, so you're hopped up on sugar. Okay. Uh, yep, science. we can move. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> what? The previous. Okay, great. From, With fronds like those, who needs an enemy? Oh, oh damn. I love it. Right out the gate, man. <laughs> Coming in hot. Get Coming my in shot. Hot. My okay. shot in. <laughs> Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, my so gosh. So we're going to start <laughs> getting into some steep terrain here, Robert. Wait, I got to turn up the volume. Dan turns it downward. Oh. Bridge, Nev. Okay. I now was I just I was complimenting you, but I'm not going to do that again. Yeah, I don't uh, believe good evening, that. Good evening, 30060. I think we're going to start getting into some steeper terrain here as we head up this uh, little ridge. Oh, that's yeah. correct. And so that's exciting. They've seen a lot of sponges around. This yeah. that coral we were looking at was the first branch coral that they've seen in a few hours. So wow. hoping to. So we're on we're on a coral hunt. And well, got our fill of sponges or what? I I think we're just gonna let the terrain come to us. Okay. You know, just take it one dive at a time and. Good Adam, work, are, you, are you in SPL? Uh, yes. Okay. That might be my settings. I was listening to him on something else, so apparently. Okay. I'm also broadcasting on Sirius XM <laughs> channel 27. <laughs> Not a sponsor. And YouTube. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Twitch stream. 8 to 12 is settling in chat. I don't know if we're settling in, yeah. but yeah. we're here. We're, we're here. We're, oh, is we're that, almost there. Is that got like the the wig thing at the bottom, like those Please other ones you saw? The hairy, uh, oh no, that's just dead pieces. Zero six zeros are heading, by the way. I think that Alrighty. could be what is another that? sponge at the base of this sponge. And it, that's not sponge up on the stalk. That's a bunch of something else's. Is it? <laughs> I thought it was. Or is that a sponge? I thought it was Walteria, but you're right. That doesn't look very spongy up it close. It looks polypy. That looks polypy. Uh, I don't know what this is. Huh. Welcome to 8 to 12, we're yeah. something else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a dead sponge what? with a bunch of, uh, I don't know, like they don't. I guess. That's weird. They're All so right. evenly spaced. Oh, Stoloniferous octocoral growing over a dead sponge scare. Oh, so no way. Oh, wow. Connor. Oh, he corrected it. I read it correctly. 
He said it's octocoral, but he wrote octocoral. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but uh, this is an octocoral. Got, got a coral on each polyp frond. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what those are called. <laughs> All right, carrying on? Please. Yeah, carrying yeah on. for a lot of people who want to keep moving, stop right out of the gate. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> what do we know? What do we know? <laughs> I had. We some don't know the heading yet. Yeah, we zero six don't. zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eight to twelve. How's everybody feeling? <laughs> Spicy. It was like a in here on the last one too. I came in here and like it was silent. I think we're here. we're all sugared up. I think we're feeling great. <laughs> Samantha and I discovered a sugary cereal. We did. Oh what? Yeah, oh, you've learned, have you learned your lesson? Don't announce the cereal. It's going to be know. gone before you know <laughs> it. Correct. <laughs> I just... What it was, is it, though? I had to tell Lynette, though. So. Well, I feel like I shouldn't tell you that now. <laughs> if it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm leaving right now. It's um, uh, definitely it not was. that. It's, it's going to be gone the here before Turmeric. Uh, <laughs> bread, <laughs> like there was Tur spinach in there. <laughs> sourdough bites? Oh, oh my gosh. Turmeric sourdough hey, can bites. can you look at the sponge, please? <laughs> I might go for those. <laughs> yeah, that sounds gross. I don't. Does it have asparagus bits in it, though? <laughs> Adam, look, rocks. Don't no, go. No, <laughs> I'll see you guys. I got <laughs> a little cinnamon toast crunchy. So, those in the back row, do you mind taking a selfie for our takeover tonight? All right. Oh, yeah. For everybody so. online, check out um, our Instagram. Paula, our data logger, is. Doing her thing. Oh, wait, wait. Eddie. How about <laughs> front row? Are and then front row. The front row. Front row. Take a yeah, selfie yeah. with the front row. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should pass okay. this to Samantha. Just take your, anyway, you should be in it. Anyway, that sponge was at Led to Go, go. go up there. Okay. Yeah, you should be in it. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just get in there and do it. <laughs> we also get saw David a get David it. Sponge. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to do it. It's the Atlant <laughs> Atlanta <laughs> census or whatever There you go. What's that one called? The Ad Ad Atlantis or something? Atlanticella. Atlanticella, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're here. We sure are. Uh... Yeah. Do you want to get More back in front there? of Atalanta? I'm, I'm starting to get over that way. Okay. Just a gentle suggestion. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> start off that way. Though. <laughs> I guess we're going to local peak. Is this like North Pacific Ocean? <laughs> <laughs> Did someone put that there, or was that? Yeah, I someone put that. What there. does that say? Local peak. Local, local peak. peak. Ooh, there's a fish. Uh oh, you know? no. Tusky little baby. What's going on I there? I presume. What am um, I seeing in that view? Oh, we got a sponge a, over there. A tether wiggle. Tether wiggle. Can we come up a bit? The ship move is ending, <sighs> so we can take a look at that. Well, what are we looking at? We are looking at this little camera where you can see the tether from Herc. Yep. I'm wondering Wait, why it's hanging up? like yep. that. Coming up. Oh. There's another whip sponge. Apparently they've all been primnoids. That, I would say, is probably a black coral. Delta's 15. And then so cool. a bolosoma That's next cool. to it. And cool. that's a raw salad. We're cool. We're cool. Uh, Caliphagus. Okay. What's the link for the chat? <laughs> the link? Someone for remind the me. Chat. Keep moving. The scientist chat. Skip. S C I P. Sure. Oh, Bridge, no? Just look right here. I think I found it. <coughs> Thank you. Three zero meter zero six zero. Oh. Hi, Bridge. Uh, three zero meter zero oh. six zero. How long is the tether now? 37 or something? 37. Yeah, 37 meters. 
Dave, if Robert agrees, can we lighten the, open the iris a little bit? I, uh, oh, yeah. I'm not particular. I just My bad, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm doing oh. a bunch of housekeeping. Cucumber in. Over here. Good to get a cucumber? cucumber. Uh, it was in this little, oh. the camera, the tether cam. Gotcha. Oh, in the, oh, they the saw a pretty purple cat earlier today. Not, yeah, sorry. Not on the bottom. Connor Johnson says, from Noad Whip, not a black girl. <clears throat> not much going on here. Mm -mm. Can you zoom in, Dave? On what? On what? <laughs> <laughs> There's a dead sponge there. Pure I think. excitement right here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Great. Oh. <laughs> All right. There's a uh, mollusk behind it. Confirmed it's mm. dead. Or maybe it was a, whatchamacallit, hermit crab. And a shrimp. Yeah, we'll take what we can get. Should we introduce ourselves? Oh, yes, yes, we can do that. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's um go ahead with our introductions. You gotta give us a, yes. a funky question. Oh answer. yeah. Hmm. Anyone that got a good question? Uh your political affiliation? Oh, gosh. oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Favorite cereal? <laughs> <laughs> most recently has most recently consumed cereal. We already, we already did oh the cereal God. thing. Oh we did? We didn't do cereal. Yeah, we did we a couple days ago. We, we did, did ice actually. cream. Oh, ice That's cream. True. We did ice. Yeah. We did we ice cream. I wish I remembered if it was cereal. I love cereal. Oh. Sure. Uh, let's see. What do we got? What else is there? Hi, everyone. I'm Jules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a biologist here on the Nautilus. I work at the Museum of Comparative Zoology back in Boston. Um, and my favorite cereal, and most recently eaten cereal, is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, I'm Do I need to confess next? <laughs> <laughs> but it's all gone now. There's no yeah. no use looking for it. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. The last of it too. From my it's gone. Scrolled it away. So Probably in your guys' rooms. <laughs> Snuck away with it. Uh, yeah, Adam Sewell. Uh, sorry, I was just <laughs> looking at that coral. <laughs> I was looking at the coral. What like, coral? Wait, well, I was like, what? Right this? there. Oh, can we look at the coral, please? <laughs> uh, Adam Sewell, professor at University of Rhode Island, uh, director of the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, and I am a submarine volcanologist, uh, watch lead for 8 to 12, and my favorite car that I had, <laughs> I think everyone can just make up their own question. I'm sorry, what did you say? Was my... 1980 Mazda RX-7. No one asked what cereal did you eat. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a cool car. It had a it had a sunroof, but in order to like fully open the sunroof, you had to like take the panel out of the top of the car. <laughs> it was very cool, and it had these headlights that like went up like. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> and your favorite cereal? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I thought it was last cereal consumed. <laughs> last cereal consumed. And oh, location. Who knows? <laughs> I haven't had cereal in a long time. Oh, okay. Who are you, Paula? <laughs> Dorella, by Sorry. the way, if anyone was interested. Oh, which girl are you? Dorella. <laughs> Dorella. 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 With associates? With associate. Brittle star. Okay. I think there's a little one, too, on the left side of it. Hi everyone, my name is Paula Santiago. I am this expedition's science intern and to um, the night watch from 8 to 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, and I'm you very should confused. answer what What's pet thing? you most would What's like it? to have. I think there's a sponge back there. Ooh. Can we look at that? Oh, I think. Actually, I'm really not That's a dead one. one. 
I don't care about that sponge. Yeah. It's peeking the lighting out from is under really the weird. What's there? Yeah. Uh, fish. 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 <laughs> I am doing tonight today's Instagram takeover, weep, so weep. if you want to have an inside scoop on what we're doing, please join us. So, are you? Does that mean you use OET's Instagram account? Yeah, the Nautilus Live Instagram account. And do you have an Instagram account too? I do. Okay. A, a personal one. Yeah. yeah. So do you want? Which is locked. Locked. It's locked. Yeah. Okay, so everyone watching can't follow you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Paolo, did you feature the art gallery yet? I haven't. Oh, really? Paola, too. Oh. Feature the art gallery. It's true. Better get to it. Do we okay. want to make a vote inside the Instagram? Oh, that's right. A Maybe vote? that should be like a whole oh, other day. Yeah. yeah, that's another. Yeah. I can do a sneak peek. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going for it. Oh, okay. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Ami Halleck. I am this watches Science Communication <laughs> Fellow, <laughs> ASA 12. This is my first year sailing on the Nautilus. I'm from Pango Pango, American Samoa. I am a local, uh, go ahead. There's a I am a local Russian educator um, back home, uh, teaching marine science and biology. Um, and I've always wanted to, I'm looking forward to adopting a pit bull when I get back home. <gasps> oh. That's so exciting. Wow. Yes. Oh, look, it's another family of yeah, mushrooms. It's another little oh. family. And what cereal did you eat most recently? Oh, <laughs> the Cheerios. Okay. Oh, and there's our, so our little string of pearls. Is it? Right here. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, it yeah. is. They've been seeing a bunch of those on, on this dive. I love those. They're so pretty. Robert, just to give you a heads up, uh, we're within the ring on the sonar. The ring. Oh, okay. It's not a, it's not a wall, though. No. Another when, Norella. Just close. When our front row is ready. Okay. Uh, Samantha Wishnack, navigator on H12. Uh, also, the operations coordinator for the Ocean Exploration you get, Trust. You gotta come up. Though. Yep. You're gonna get hung up here. Which is a nonprofit that owns and operates Nautilus. Um, I also uh, can confess that I had cinnamon toast crunch in <laughs> the mess not much longer than 15 minutes ago, and. Uh, <laughs> Was it delicious? It was, <laughs> it was like a revelatory experience, <laughs> which when that kind of experience happens to me on the ship means that I've been here too long. <laughs> it was like kind of spiritual. Yeah. <laughs> when, when my wife goes out of town, the first thing I do is go buy Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the kids and I just have that for breakfast every day. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Now I feel like we're depriving you of some like meaningful family. Yeah, what, <laughs> what are you trying to do? I mean, Adam, if you need to leave, like there's probably still a little bit down there. <laughs> oh no, did you just leave the crumbs? That's okay. If, yeah. if I can flavor some milk with there's it, there's a be decent happy. amount. Yeah, we gotta fly. Don't higher. worry. We're gonna be like over 17, I think. Over 17. Good. Yeah. Coming up. Are we ready for a move? Yeah. Yeah. Bridge now. There's another mushroom coral. We don't have to zoom on that. You don't? Three zero no. meters, no. zero six zero. There's a lot of different sponges. Um, I think I just saw an Amphidicella stocked euplectelid sponge. Robert, would you like to yes, introduce yourself? Please. Oh, oh uh, uh, more. Robert Waters. I'm the hurt pilot on this watch. Uh, what was the What's the question in? Most recently consumed cereal, or you can volunteer information about a car that you've owned, or a dog, uh, an animal that you would like. You get to brag about adopt. a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a 2012 Porsche Turbo S. Ooh. <laughs> All right. That's cereal. Cool. Porsche. Porsche. Excuse me. <laughs> cereal. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Raisin Bran Crunch fan. Oh. Okay. We'll, we'll allow it. <laughs> uh, this is Mike Burns. Go, <laughs> 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 <Michael> Mike. <laughs> Mike Tech uh, Chief. The Mike. Atalanta pilot for the ship. Um, I am obsessed with my Australian cattle dog. Uh, for Aww. those of the people that are on here, I've seen many pictures of Nalu. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, 
I guess most recently consumed cereal was the uh, cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, really? I was one of the first ones that had a had a bite of it, and I just slowly watched the bag just disappear. Yep. <laughs> and what time was this? <laughs> this was at uh, this is at like seven o'clock this evening. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So pretty recent. Yeah. You may have been the first of the watch. I, I saw it just slowly go yeah. go away. Ooh. So you're actually an influencer. <laughs> Try not to be. <laughs> this is a new one. Can we get a zoom on it, please? I think it's a primnoid. Have we seen this on? Uh, oh, the stock sponges on the I think left. they've very cool. Oh, the sponges are so cool too. I think they've been seeing a lot of these primnoid whips. Okay. Um, cool. the sponge. What are these? Oh, cool. Euplectelids. A cluster. Bolosomids. TBD. Yeah, I hey, I think they're just stalked. Oh, never mind. You plugged okay. it. There were something that looked like little tiny sponges on mm -hmm. the rock itself as well. No stock, but oh, okay. Who Good knows? Know. It, they could have been. You, are we going in again? Species. I think I've seen some of those too. Yeah. Wave it off. It's wave, wave it off. off. Wave off. All right. Let's um. I think it's all day. Down to me. Sorry, I was busy there. Uh, mm, no problem. Zooming no around as Is that usual. Is uh, Dave Robertson, uh, lead video engineer for this expedition, uh, and uh, sitting in the video chair here for the eight to twelve, the infamous eight to twelve <laughs> watch. <laughs> Our reputation <laughs> precedes us. Um, let's see. Pick one of these. Uh, categories huh yeah mm -hmm. yeah I don't get cereal very much when I get cereal usually it's raisin bran okay oh. it's healthy and you put good for me and mm. I like raisin bran oh, but uh, I do really like um, honey nut Cheerios mm. oh wow okay yeah. yeah I just don't get them very often I don't think you're gonna get any more out here yeah that's uh, <laughs> I, I just avoided the cereal where did it come from uh, Stuff from when a mama cereal and a daddy cereal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the watch is over. <laughs> All right, everyone go home. Fish. What is that? Fish. I don't know, we've seen a few of them. Yeah. Fish. Uh, what's this interesting long piece, though, here? That, that is an funny. interesting long piece. Can you zoom in, Dave? Is it a sponge? Yeah, it looks yeah, like it's fun. Like it. See this yeah. branch here? Yeah. Is it? Uh, eh. You want to poke it? Can you poke it? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's fun. Zoom out, Dave. The ship is just finishing a move, so. Good there. It's either that or a tube of Nutella. <laughs> God, I'm glad those aren't out anymore. <laughs> Equal chance of either. And for everyone tuning in, um, if you have any questions, send them in the chat. Our team would love to answer your questions. Okay, and um, this region has been nominated to become a National Marine Sanctuary. Um, tomorrow is the last day to submit your questions and comments. So visit um, nautiluslive.org, nautiluslive.org for more information. That reminds me, it's June 1st. Happy Pride That's Month, right. everyone. Oh, June first. Let's go. Happy Pride. That looks. Is it a sponge? Yeah. No. no. Oh. Oh. Crunchy. Uh. And it rolls. Huh. I'm. Was that unclear? Strong force grip. Grip force. Four. Four. Not that bad. Four out of what? Wood? 
four out of four out of nine. Okay. Could it be wood? Yeah, that would be my guess. Interesting. Is it uh, again, Dave? That uh, there's lots of folks who study wood debris on the seafloor. Oh wow. That does look like I wood. Well, or like, huh? No, I'm conf I'm confused. <laughs> You want it? Can we look at the end of one of the pieces that just broke? Let me let me go for a lighter grab here. Like that piece up top has a. Sorry, I'm not science. You're what? <laughs> I'm not science. I. Oh, yeah, we're all science. I think the other end broke off. I could be wrong. Uh, looks kind of spongy. Looks like a bone. Hmm. Yeah, it kind of does. Like a rib, maybe? Because one side is flat and the other side is flared. Flared, yeah. Ah, put it in the box. Let's the go. Box, we'll find out what it is up on deck. <laughs> which box? Okay. Uh, what boxes we got, Paula? One sec. We have. I guess a side box. A, B, or C. Roger. Oh, uh, I should have stopped. Over. Is there floaty stuff in there? Um, there is nope, nope. no floaties. Okay, wax out. Where is this going? A, B, or C. Might as well grab that other piece too because it looks like it's got some distinguishing marks on it. Mm -hmm. okay. This would be sample one, one, one. <gasps> one, one, one. <laughs> And that was uh, starboard, which compartment? Oh, starboard bio box. Yeah. B. 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 Mm -hmm. As in Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> yep. You could switch back. Are you able to go higher? Uh, a little bit. Just can't move until uh, this is done. Hmm. There's something growing on there. Uh, I guess that top piece is better, yeah. Fragile. 
There you go. Let's go get it. trying to pick up a penny off the floor. <laughs> Switch in the sample. Where do you go? Uh, where is it? Where's your arm? I saw it go around the, the side. I don't think it's all the way over, though. Manipulator <laughs> syndrome. <laughs> For my next trick, <laughs> I'll make a thruster disappear. Hey, hey, hey. Can we go back to dive? Yeah. And then zoom out, Dave. There's your, there's your uh, zoom on bubble cam. Oh, oh. there we go. Found it. <laughs> Still attached. <laughs> That's good. All right. Oh, I don't think there's anything in the there is grip, not. though. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> All right, let's call it good. Just to confirm, we only have one one, one, one piece. piece. Okay. So you're blowing off this other one, huh? Well, I mean, if you see it, I guess, but it seems like it's going to be a challenge. I think with the hillside's just too close on that side. I got to pick up and get away from it. Yeah. Can you zoom in, Dave. So one of the comments that I receive when I put a coffee story is that uh, that was not real coffee. And I'm fairly confident that was a Puerto Rican. So I just want to <laughs> issue a formal apology <laughs> <laughs> to all the Puerto Ricans. I know we have good coffee. <laughs> and in, in no way I was trying to. <laughs> what did you say about the coffee? Incident. <laughs> I just said it was coffee time and put oh a photo gosh. of a really light colored coffee. Oh, which and was they said that's milk. not coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it instant coffee? No, at least okay. it was not. Okay. This one is, is the one that I have now. Let's go. All right, let's get away from this wall here.
towards the other view. Sample view. And box out. Box is coming out. So there are two Alright, and then we have our um, friends from online wondering, um, how do we best find out what you Back conclude to about sample 111? Oh, uh... Let's see. Like My guess is if it's if it's really interesting, right. then Nautilus will post it okay. or tweet about it or something oh. like that. But we we uh, tune in on our next watch. We'll happily tell you what it is. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's get her out in front. Roger. Interesting. Take it off. So we've been um, exploring um, unnamed gills and sea mounts. Is there, this is one of the questions, um, is there a way to study how old they are yeah uh so we have some idea because other geo in the area have been dated in the past right um and there's some ambiguity so there's some in this area that are 80 million years old and some that wow. are 30 million years old and that's a huge time difference. So the way you would figure out the age is to use a dating method called, well, used to be called potassium argon dating, but it's now called argon argon dating. Argon argon. And uh, potassium decays to argon, and argon is a, a gas. So you assume that when the rock forms it doesn't contain any of that gas and so all the argon in there has been produced by decay of potassium and that decay happens at a known rate you know different isotopes have different half-lives right and so by measuring the amount of potassium and the amount of argon you can um, determine the the age of the rock and it's it's not an easy measurement to make. There's only a you know handful of labs in the world that that can do it, um, but Ooh, we may very well sponge. do it with some of these samples. That's a bolus. Thank you. Okay. Add another. Add another. <laughs> So you said there's only a handful of labs around the world that can do this. Um, uh -huh. Is it? Why do you think that is? Is it? Um, is it on technology or? Okay. Ooh, what's that thing? Um, I don't know. Oh boy, and there's some hairy it's bits. <laughs> you know, like the with the ones we saw yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <coughs> there's something off your starboard side. Maybe like sponge remnants. Next to the bio box. Or sponge. Giant xenophyophore. Oh. Thing at? No, it's just off of oh. your star recorder. Yeah. So I saw the stock of it. I Sorry, can you zoom in on that tall. sponge, please? Which one? This one yeah. or this one? Uh, this one up here. What are we looking at? The sponge, right there. Oh man, are there more of those bone things too? What? It's getting weird. Really? More yeah, what? just up to the right. Are we about to find a pirate ship? Maybe. <laughs> 
Those are pretty big bumps. Sure right? feels like it. <laughs> Any, More likely for a whale fall. The, it's not really the technology. The technology has been around for quite some time. Right. Um, it's the specialized mass spectrometers oh, and okay. the, the, it involves a kind of step heating of the rock to release the argon in, in stages and it's just a uh, requires a really really careful measurements and right. so uh, not many people are set up to do that right thank you so you have to look at it until the potassium argon <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> did someone Man. take Come Someone on. took the handcuffs what? off of Dave, and he's like, <laughs> "Dad joking us," so, uh, and I can appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> All right, wow. so I'm yeah, there's, there's definitely another bone-like. Yeah. Oh wow! Object. I think that was another Caliphagus. Yeah. Chat. We have not seen um, plastic pollution. Hopefully, never. Um, but a uh, previous yeah. watch did <coughs> see a, a beer, beer, Ooh. plastic, uh, not plastic, a beer bottle, can. That's sponge. That's good. That's sponge. Is it sponge? You think okay. so? Uh, it looks a lot sponge. like the previous thing. It does uh, look a lot like the previous too. thing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that's for its. Oh, that's attached to the rock, yeah? Yeah. All right. Sponge. So we've got a. Looks like to me. I think that looks different from the last one we saw. Okay. Sponge bone. Yeah, see how wide it is there? Sponge bone rib parts. That's a new <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, no we're not I, I could hear you processing. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say no. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> well, that one. And Adam gives me a sponge. hard time. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Takes one to no one. So I was beating him to the line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, there's a little star hanging out on a coral <laughs> in the top left corner up there. Shall Aww. we look at it? Oh, yeah. Right, are, we, are we looking at this? No, no, we're, 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 done. we're done. Let's we're done look at this. Christmas tree. <clears throat> yeah, Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, zoom in, Dave. Oh, and there's those uh, mollusk worms, yeah. There we go. The, um, er, name is escaping me. That's the star. It's actually kind of cool angle, right? That is we really can cool. See it, it's mouth parts working the coral. This one does look like it's eating it, right? It sure yeah, does. it does. Is that all the zoom? Do I need to get closer? Yeah, that's uh, it for zoom. Yeah, chat says there's another two to the left. Oh. Mm. Two. I think that's a primnoid that it's feeding on. Oh. And then. Are we good? Or or yeah, we're good. Are we probably need to move, huh? Nope. No? Is the ship, ship, ship moving? Is, ship is not moving. Oh, let's keep the ship moving. Well, we were waiting for Herc to get back in front of Atlanta. Oh. Uh, yeah. But now I can put her to move if everyone's happy. <laughs> happy. Happy. Bridge now. Three zero meters, zero six zero. There's something interesting I'm seeing in the still cam <laughs> up to the right. Can you zag or wiggle to the right? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, a Walteria. Yeah. I got it right. And the, the Walteria and a polyopagon. polyopagon. Three types of sponges, no? Yeah, there's a third in front of it. Oh, oh. what Four. is this? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. Ooh. Oh, that's the one. like sweatshirt hoodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think the polyoptagon are my favorite. They are very cool. Oh, I'm such a hard time finding them. 
Apla Kaforans, according to Connor. Apla Kaforans? Well, some people say it that way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's the word that I was looking for. <laughs> Apla Kaforan. What did I say? Uh, Apla Kaforans? Yeah. It's the European pronunciation, I think. Oh, okay. Great zoom. Whoa. I love how many of the little uh, attachment hairs it makes. Yeah. It's like most of the sponge. <laughs> yeah. I like the reference in the previous watch. It looks like um, the Pele's hair. Pele's mm -hmm. hair, yeah. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? You got that from the chat. I did? <laughs> the April conference. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said from Connor. From oh. Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Plaque of forens. <laughs> what? <laughs> how do you say it? And that's how we say it in Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, exactly. Aplocorofon. <laughs> <laughs> How would, we, he, how would you say, say it in Latin? That's not coffee. Uh, <laughs> how, do, how do we say it in Latin? I don't know. I don't know any Latin speakers. I don't know either. That's a prim noad, but... Alt of polyopagon. Um, not sure what that is. Whoa. What's up with these guys? Caliphagus? Mm-hmm. Oh. What happened there? I don't... I was oh. like, ah, I just gonna <laughs> oh, put my head no. down for a minute. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. That's okay. This is Sponge City over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. Cool. I have all of my Sponge ID guides open. <laughs> like flipping through them. This is the Sponge Pop neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sponge bone rib parts. Sponge bone rib parts. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> but SpongeBob SquarePants doesn't no. make any sense. <laughs> Can it's you zoom on the sponge, please? That's the hoodie. Is that the polyopagon? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for everyone tuning in, if you are interested in the guide, um, oceanexplorer.noaa.gov, you will find the benthic animal guide. You can be okay. just mm -hmm. like me. Zoom in, Dave. Cool. shiny it is. Look at the little babies. Oh. It's a family. <laughs> now how do sponges reproduce? Um. I had to Google too, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's your sexual reproduction. They just release their gametes. Hmm. Are there male and female sponges? Or they just have different parts that are oh. of the sponge that are male and female? 
Let's where they see. don't have a... Okay, so either fragmentation or a piece of the sponge breaks off and settles on a new substrate mm -hmm. oh. or budding, a oh. outgrowth from the parent eventually detaches. And they also reproduce sexually. Broadcast spawners, according to Connor, along with budding and yeah. whatnot. Look at that. <laughs> Walteria is so delicate. Ooh, looking. cool. So they're when Learning they a lot about do sponges today. Reproduce through sexual. They are both male and female reproductive organs. On the same organism, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Sponges are very independent. Oh, we haven't seen that one before. Oh, that looks like a frayed to me. Frayed. Oh, this whole this whole section rock is covered in spongy tall sponges. Although it looks like a lot of them don't have the tops. Hmm. Is hmm. there a reason why we're seeing more of sponge and less of coral? That's a great question. I'm not sure. Right. And then in other areas, it's more of coral, less of sponge. Yeah. So I think your question is really interesting because it is, is there a reason? Right. And in talking with Brian, it may be that there's not a reason. That oh. it's chance right. okay. as to, as to what settles in an area. Interesting. Yeah, it could absolutely be random it could be that certain organisms prefer different types of geological formations that's something that brian is studying um it could be food availability it could be the type of food available um, we really don't know much about the ecology of these areas um, i mean especially this area is very unexplored like right. this is the first time that we're seeing this area, so there's still a lot that we don't know. And we'll we'll only see it for a very short time. So a lot of what we might need to know would come from observing it through seasonal cycles and annual cycles. Wow, look at yeah. that really tall one. Oh, that's so pretty. Is that not have a top or like did it lose? Is that a polyopagon? Can we look at the really tall one, please? Is the puffy one a Walteria? I think that uh, This one is a Walteria. I wanted to look at this one first. Oh. All right. Well. Sorry. Yeah, zoom in, dude. Oh, getting the Walteria. Cool. Is it like they covered All hybrids? right, we're good on that one. Thank you. Connor says that the large one is Tridoplura. Tridoplura. It does indeed look like it is Tridoplura. Thank you. There's that big one. Yes. Oh. So you want to zoom on the big one next? Yes, please. Cool. Thank you. That almost looks yeah, like That looks like what would, what had fallen over the, the rib bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It had, the, it had a wider section. Like. Can we zoom again? So cool. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't look as dead as it did on, on the other side. It looks like when you cut open a pepper, like I feel like that's what the inside looks like a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It's one of those hmm. <coughs> red-headed things. Hmm. Amphipod or whatever. Oh, the pink thing in there? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm good. Thank you. It's very flocculent here, too. Mm -hmm. Great word. Nice. Word of the day. 
Oh, speaking of word of the day. Could I get a zoom over on this thing? Looks like a Paragorgia. Yeah, it's the first <coughs> one we've seen on this. Uh yeah, first coral we've seen other than the Primnoid. That coral in the distance is really cool too. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> There's Ooh, just sponges everywhere. Right. Zoom again, dude. Um, oh. it could be Swiftia. Yeah, Aww. I think it is. That is Swiftia. Yay. Yay, a coral. And then chat wants to know, why are they called sponges? Is it due to its pores capacity of its structure? This um, one looks like a, like a nose. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would assume it's because of their texture. Okay. Um, so... Hexactinellids, glass sponges, are actually called glass sponges because they are made of um, silica spicules. So they are literally made of glass. Thank you. Can we go look at those uh, funky yeah, can rocks we look at the other ones? there? Funky rocks. Funky rock time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is a sponge crash course for me. For all of us. For everyone, really. Chat, keep, uh, keep sending in your questions. You guys are doing great. Also, like, Dr. Seuss. Wow. Wow. Ooh, wow. So Can cool. you get a shot with us with the still cam? Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that right now. That's going to be amazing. If we could line up, line it up a little bit better, that would be great. It's a little crooked. Uh, Dad? My, my rear is up on the rock. Okay. We can fix it in post. Okay. Can you? I, I, I don't have a view of the still cam. Um, okay, it's all right. We can fix it later. I'm just going to get a few more shots like this. Did they I get a salvo? Here, do the exposure thing. I'm not right sure where, where things uh, are, oh, Bob. You know, but I can put it. These. You pick a spot. I in, put it up right. there. That's a beautiful shot. Let's go. Okay, awesome. There's a salvo that may bring it up on your uh, router control panel in front of you. It's the upper left purple button. Not yours. Oh, but his. You got your pick, Jules? Uh, upper left. Uh -huh. upper, oh, okay. upper left purple button. Yeah, did my best. Upper left. Okay. That's dive. It's pretty dark. Yeah. It's also got the Dan dark camera is stuff in it. Too light. Yeah. Some of these are pretty decent. Yeah, this is a little bit. Already can I look at the. Yeah, yeah you want to do a, it? It's a, it's a new version of dive that has the Dan oh. cameras in it. But huh. it doesn't have the. Still cam framed up in there anyway. Uh, what was the thing hmm. that... All right. You got to tell me where to put it, and I can put it somewhere. Oh. Leela told me to just mess you with these two. Do the back deck. Yeah, do the back deck one. Okay. You don't need no back deck. <laughs> Sorry, were you saying you wanted to look at something? Um, we're still just working on the still cam, but if we can just, like... We zoom out again, Dave. Oh, oh uh, what let's is look that? at that. <laughs> what is oh. that? Oh, that's the, f that's the fancy uh, jelly that we saw <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> what? But that one has four tentacles. Right? Fancy jelly. Wow. And the one we saw yesterday, or the other watch saw yesterday, had three. So we actually got uh, some more info from our scientist who made that ID uh, that he thinks maybe the species should have had four tentacles oh, and it really? had been eaten and healed from oh. from a wound of some kind. Cool. Oh, wow, that's cool. So theoretically, this would be the third sighting of this uh, jelly. Yeah. Right. Ever. Ever? Ever. 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 Ever, 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 ever. So we saw one last week. Where was the first sighting? Uh, Not like I think it was about eight years ago. Okay. 
Okeanus yeah. Explorer. Which side? Yeah, it was last sighted, think about eight years ago, on the Okeanus Explorer inside information chat. Check out our highlights on nautiluslive.org. Wow. I've seen so few, I wouldn't, I wouldn't slurp it. Yeah. Please highlight it. I got you. Wow. Wow. What? <laughs> Megan, you remember what this thing was called? It's a Narco Medusa. Narco, Narco Medusa. Medusa Bathy Chorus, more yeah. specifically. That's Narco. And is there any possibility we could try to slurp it? Sure. <laughs> okay, Just which are we on? Lila okay. and I are here with our <laughs> dueling. <laughs> Okay, shouting echo so voices. we right now are on jar Chat, this is seven. exciting. There's a primnoid snip possibly still in the tube. I think the recommendation uh, was to just slurp it all wow. together. Yeah, it could it could go it could slide past it probably, so um Can we rotate the jar, Mike? Yes. Ah. Oh, back up. Okay, rotating forward. Try it again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, this is going to be hard. Oh, man. <laughs> Just don't go anywhere. You're not set up for this. Oh, unless it goes right into the slurp. And then <laughs> Can you, you turn it slurp? Chat, on? this oh. is amazing. There you go. Oh, my gosh. This uh, is new. I don't know. I don't know where it went. That's not it. Uh, I think we lost it. Well, a nice try anyway. What, we're giving up? Maybe do, I don't a, know little, where it went. do a little swivel, see if it <laughs> appears. Most jellyfishes are sensitive to light, so maybe mm. she's, it's reacting in some way. To it's also sensitive to right the currents. I see we're making a bunch of it. Is that Adal Adalanta cam? That was no, really, really, really cool to see. Actually. Oh I my god. It <laughs> yeah, Adalanta. it's Adalanta, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, <laughs> if we see another one. <laughs> yeah, I think we got to be more set up ahead of time. That was cool. Yeah. That was yeah. really cool. That was really cool. I'm glad we got to see that. There's a cool uh, polychaete. That's another color right. oh. Are we uh, moving on here? Let's move on. Yeah. It feels really special to have seen that, like, the third. Yeah. The third right. sighting. Us right. and everyone watching online. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Chat, it was last sighted. Um, eight years ago on the Okeanos, mm -hmm. and now we've seen it again. It's the third time. And then the other watch also spotted. Yeah. This is amazing. Check out our highlights on nautiluslive.org. So, so what are... Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's already now. From our Instagram takeover, they are asking TJ to do another drawing. 
<laughs> we lost TJ. Well, TJ is uh, on the back deck it's now, sad. so we'll have to pass on that request. Has right. Mike done a drawing? Mike. Oh, let's oh. go, Mike. Oh. I got some post-its. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a yes. <laughs> Jules, can you, Jules, can yes. you make the still cam uh, window bigger? Yes. You got a pen, Mike? I do have a pen. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, we'll be waiting. Coming up. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh actually, <laughs> you, you stay driving. Keep your hands on the wheel. Casquillo, <laughs> Halasar, or trip? No, nah, not trip. No, no, no. Casquillo. 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 So, what are Niskin bottles? The chat wants to know: Is Hercules carrying yeah. Niskin, Niskin bottles? bottles on this expedition? Yes. So Niskin bottles are kind of a right. standard piece of oceanographic equipment. It's right. basically a tube that has two end caps, and the end caps are on a spring, right? and they're held open until you trigger it, and then the spring snaps shut the top oh. and the bottom and traps the water from wherever you are. And they're actually super old technology um been around for i don't know maybe 100 years or something oh wow but uh maybe probably made of different materials back then but yeah, now barrels back there yeah this is neat <coughs> that was also in the subs were wooden barrels too right yeah <laughs> <laughs> More than 100 years ago. <laughs> but one of the first technically submarines was a wooden barrel that someone descended in. A wooden barrel? Mm -hmm. the, the it was an uh, interesting. No, no, no. I'm talking about like Alexander the Great, I think, was the first person. Oh. Like, that era. Uh. In, a, in a barrel. All right, Mike, uh, chat wants to hear more from you. Um, can you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about... Ooh, a double introduction. Yes. <laughs> um, we have a question. Who is Mike? Is this a new person? Tell us more. <laughs> Spill the tea. Spill the tea. I, uh, I helicoptered in a couple of days ago, and they dropped me off on a boat. Uh, no, so uh, my name is Mike Burns. Uh, I it was acting as the uh, deck chief uh, during the very first part of the cruise. Um, from uh, currently, the city I'm residing in is Glassboro, New Jersey. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, oh, no in New Jersey. <laughs> uh, but originally from Hawaii. Um, yeah, uh, my background uh, for the last six years, I've been uh, a marine technician in, down in Antarctica for the wow. uh, United States Antarctic program. Before that, I worked with uh, with Hawaiian monk seals uh, and whale disentanglement here in the main islands, uh, as well as in the northwestern Hawaiian islands. And then uh, also background in marine debris removal uh, with NOAA's marine debris projects. And then, uh, yeah, fishery science. And then I spent about 10 years doing shark research. Uh, so kind, kind of all over the place. Thank you. Have you always, um, has this always been your passion? Um, how did, sorry, how did you uh, get to work with uh, OET on Nautilus? Sorry. Hold on one second on No that. problem. Sorry, what was the question? Has this always been your passion? How did you get to work with Nautilus? Um, got to work with Nautilus. Actually, uh, <laughs> another deck chief uh, had uh, mentioned Nautilus to me and mm. uh, reached out to uh, our personnel here on uh, Nautilus. And, and they uh, actually had me come out last year uh, for one of the Nat Geo cruises. So I did that cruise with them. And uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed myself. and and uh, signed on for another another season. What did you want to be when you were like 10 years old? 
Because it's oh. really getting deep. <laughs> no one else, by the way, has been subject to this level of scrutiny. <laughs> Why did I ask you? 10 years old. Um, I, I mean, I wanted to be either a firefighter mm -hmm. uh, oh. or a shark biologist. So Really? Uh, kind of halfway on both. <laughs> I did both of them. I got to actually be yeah. part of the uh, fire brigade uh, down wow. in Antarctica. So I was, uh, went to fire training school and everything. So got to, to check both of those boxes. But wow. my, my passion has always been boats <laughs> and being out at sea. Thank you. Warm, a warm welcome to Mike. Mike is in um, placement of TJ. Yes. <laughs> But you promised to regale us with stories of your Irish childhood. Really. <laughs> <laughs> but please not in the accent again. <laughs> well, when I was in a wee, when I was a wee lad, <laughs> my guy over there. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> so Samantha, I am yep. seeing we have no waypoints tonight. <laughs> Just local. We don't. Uh, yeah, the science team, actually Adam will have more information on this, but I think the science team decided to choose your own adventure based on uh, uh -huh. our current weather conditions was more appropriate. I didn't yeah, know we could do that. We didn't want uh, to set something up that was not going to be doable by the uh -huh. ship. So we have right. kind of a starting point and then we we're going to go whichever way the ship was yeah. uh, happiest. So technically there is another waypoint uh, on the other side of this little knoll. Um, so, science, just to update you, we had a little uh, DP drift, uh, but we're getting back on station, and we, the ship just put in, or the bridge just put in a move, so we're getting underway again. Okay. Okay. Just a bow thruster issue, but we're back. And then chat also wants to know, so uh, this is regarding the creatures or the species that we're looking at. Why do the creatures we find on the seabed look like beings from space or from a space horror movie? <laughs> Is it evolutionary adaptations, unfamiliar environments, or just human perception? Um, maybe maybe a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the creatures from space were modeled after the That's things on I the seafloor. Oh, yeah. right, right. Well, I'd also like to say that the beings in the deep sea and in the ocean in general are more normal on this planet than a lot of things on land are based on quantity and that wow, is true. That's, that's yeah, species. That's so interesting. we think they're alien but maybe we are the aliens we also Ooh. haven't seen a lot of the bottom of the ocean <laughs> right right and so every time we see something new it's very new to us it's very alien to us so it makes sense that we would find it so strange and they're adapted to a completely different life than us. You know, things have to be able to survive extreme pressure and temperature on either extreme, so. Yeah. The oxygen levels here too are very different from the surface. Makes everything grow slower too. Adam, now might be a good time for your story about ripples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Adam, tell us about the ripples. Tell us about the time with the ripples. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> well, these ripples may look familiar because we see them in shallow water all the time. They're a product of having loose sediment on the seafloor or on any surface and a moving current or moving water. The water moves the tiny pieces of sediment and they pile up in these little hills and roll down the, the little steep sides. And if you know something about the physical characteristics of the sediment, you can infer something about the current velocity by measuring the distance from peak to peak and the amplitude from the bottom to the, to the top. And if you know something about the current, you could infer likewise something about the properties of the sediment. That's pretty neat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks, Adam. If somebody wanted to study, our yeah. viewers who wanted to study to be a geologist, yes. what would your advice be? My advice? Mm -hmm. 
to be a geologist. Uh, hmm. Gosh, there's so many different sub-disciplines. Some are super mathematical, like geophysics and seismology. Some are... Can you zoom in, Dave? You, you like got to be out like to be outside a lot right some are more chemical some are more physical um, but you know take a geology class see if you if you like it and it's uh, is this a carrier really crab? cool field is it this is a strange yes one. indeed <laughs> really <laughs> but this doesn't look anemone. like what? oh my gosh yeah look at that <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it is it is no. a hermit crab what? with an no, no, anemone No, no, I don't think it's hat. hermit. I think that's the foot of the anemone covering you think? the whole crab. It looks like, it does look like a crab, though. It's definitely a crab, but I think that's, it's a... Uh, <laughs> he's too <laughs> fool. So <laughs> it's exactly what I said. I thought you said a hermit crab. <laughs> yeah, there's a crab <laughs> with an anemone on it. But it, doesn't a hermit crab have a shell that it goes No, in? not necessarily. Yeah. Oh, it can go in a soft thing. And yeah. Oh. Uh, Those are very high anemone that looks to like crab ratio. Yeah. Yeah. On it. Perhaps yeah, too much. Yeah, things are a little unbalanced there. I'm curious about this little mound in front of it as well. If yeah, it looks like it's been digging. Yeah. Has the anemone been digging or the crab been digging? Probably sure the crab. The crab. <laughs> <laughs> Do the anemones dig? What? They can move a little bit if they want to, but I don't know. This is odd. Okay. I feel sorry for it. Was yeah. Bye. A special member Good of luck. the hermit crabs is the anemone carrier. It places anemones on its shell for camouflage. On its shell. So maybe oh. there is a shell so there. Down could there could be, yeah. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> it's anemone a very has small I don't know. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of that? shells around, Just though. Right now. We could be a shell shortage here. <laughs> <laughs> so, carrier crabs are different from hermit crabs, I believe. Well, <laughs> there's a few different things that carry things on their backs. Is this another one? Could oh, be a pump we zoom in, Dave. Oh gosh, another one. Another what? one. No way. And another one. No, nah, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so this is good. So we can see if it's got a... It a looks shell. like it has a shell. It does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's got something whoa. on its uh, claw, too. Oh, oh a oh. shell. Oh. An anemone? Anemone. Oh, oh, it's a shell, He's yeah. He's running. Moving at top speed. Giant. And it's holding another... I think it's it a giant it? claw. It's holding something. Yeah, yeah it looks like know. another looks like small earbud. shell. It's a shell on its claw. <laughs> <laughs> it's running. Hand got stuck in a to jar. He's like, oh my god, I used to be able to run so far away. <laughs> didn't have such really a big anemone. Down. <laughs> huh, so these guys are different than the other ones. The other ones are holding that anemone above them. I right, and this one is okay, anemone on the shell. Okay, let me do some digging. I think they are different. Yeah. Look. Is this one holding it in place with anything, or no, has it like no, suctioned it to its shell? Yeah. The shell. Wow. They probably, it probably put it there, but. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I mean, it had to, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it looks Not so heavy, this. trying to run. Mm. Okay. Okay, so there are multiple things that are crabby that carry things on their backs. One of them being a carrier crab, which is not this. This is a hermit crab. One is a tired dad with its <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's like a fun what? hat. There's something odd about that one claw. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Cool. All right. Move on. Under, uh, deep water the fashion. Going? The so move is just finishing. Get, so they got control again? Yep. Maybe we should put an urchin on Herc. Oh. 
or a fun hat. <laughs> oh, what's this? Rock? Cuskeel. The fish or the rock? <laughs> <laughs> rock. We don't care about that fish, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care about no. that fish. We know about that fish. We know about that fish. Just another fish. Just another hey, cuskeel. Shout out to our friends from Spain. Thanks for tuning in. I think that's a primnoid whip. And something behind it. We zoom in there. Oh, actually, I think that's bamboo. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't look that different than all the other ones we saw. I have to see the polyps first, and then I... Oh, yeah, that's a primnoid. And Walteria behind it. And Polyapagon. And a Xenophyophore. Cool. Thank you. Carry on. Did we take a look at the um the crumbly chalky like rock from the other day? Yes. How, how is I it? think it is made up of uh, foraminifera. Whoa. Oh, oh, really? Wait, really? what? Yeah, it's got uh, it's got a real grainy kind of texture, and when I looked at the grains mm. under the microscope, I could start to see some of the little foram structure in the, sh wow. in the grains. Need a little stronger microscope to really say for sure. Ooh. Is that a bolosoma? I think so. But what about that one back <laughs> there? Polyoptagon? <laughs> um, no, it doesn't have all the welcome. hairs in hmm. there. Yeah, that one looks a little bit different to me. That you one looks Dave? more like um, a euplectelid. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> you gotta sign it. Is it a Bolosoma? Oh. Are we looking in the back one or the front one? Can we look at the mm, uh, front one? Back one, I think, is Atlanticella. Uh, why do you think this is not Bolosoma? Um, the drip underneath? Yeah. Connor thinks it's a funky sacocalyx. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, maybe it's amphidicella. Oh, don't like oh. that sound. Hmm, what's that? That sounds like a Dave sound. Hmm. Are we rewinding our VHS tapes? Or is that a crack sound? Mm -hmm. um, Connor in the chat says that he thinks it's a sacocalyx, which is a type oh. of euplectelid. I don't think so. That doesn't look great to me. Yeah. Uh, I think we've seen enough of it, though. Yeah, thank you. I can go off that. Greetings to our friends from New Zealand. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, to all of our new viewers, um, tomorrow is the last day to submit your comments and your questions. This region has been nominated to become a national marine sanctuary. Um, tomorrow is the last day, so um, check out nautiluslive.org or noaa.gov um, for more information. 
Maybe our friends in New Zealand could just just go get a meat pie for me. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> Kia ora, kiwis. Hey, let's go. Well, chat is asking, is there a specific preference of hermit crabs for certain species of anemones and how hermit crabs attach to anemones? I think they look, it's the same, it looks like, well, it looked like the same species. Of anemone? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Even with the carrier, even with the crab. They did look similar, oftentimes um, in symbiotic relationships like that. Actually, is it beneficial to the anemone? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it tends to be the same species that are associated, oh, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. Is that my saying that right? You can correct me if that's um, Sakakalix. Good night. Sounds right. Sakakalix. Sakakalix. Yeah. Sakakalix. Yes, definitely that. And then that one down there is Amphidicella. Um, they certainly do look the same, um, and it seems that they, it benefits the, the crab more than it benefits the anemone. Oh. I don't know. The, I'd have the, to do some more digging to see if, um. The crab's going to go around finding food, so maybe the anemone gets to go be more mobile than it usually would be. But also, I think they, like they'll ditch them if they're in danger or like use them as a shield. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's probably not great for the anemone. They tried to ask the anemone, but all it said was, wee! <laughs> <laughs> what happens to Dave after two weeks? <laughs> Comes out of his shell. <laughs> oh, it's symbiotic. Right? Oh. Symbiotic, okay. does that mean like codependent? <laughs> no, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Adam, um, chat is asking, would you like ketchup with that pie? <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a wrong answer yeah. here. Yeah. Trap, <laughs> but Tread carefully. Right. Oftentimes they, they have Zoom like in, some like homemade kind of ketchup. Right, not, like, right. Squirt it out of a bottle, but yes. It's a nice sponge. Okay. That is. So the anemone eats food scraps from oh. the crab. And the crab is protected from predators. Oh, because the sea anemone's tentacles are stinging. Mm -hmm. So nice. I didn't know that. And I think it does tend to be the same animal. Cool, Bridge, I agree. Could we look at the coral to the left? Three zero meter is zero six zero. Um, I don't know where it's gone. Oh, right here. Zoom in, Dave. Primnoid. Yep, Primnoid. Cool, thank you. Next move is starting, still zero six zero. While we're moving, uh, we have had a submission to the art gallery by uh, Mike. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to uh, share this one with the group. So glad to hear. Oh, yay. Oh, wow. Oh, there's <laughs> words. <laughs> oh, I love that. Hold really. it up in front of the camera. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> right? that's, that's cool. That's just like us. Really something. Yeah, the drawing of Herc, too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, right, chat. Yeah. The art auction. Oh, yeah. <laughs>